everybody happy wednesday welcome to our show at hunky dory craft tv we have a fabulous live launch for you um it is going to get you in the mood for spring it is just absolutely beautiful we cannot wait to show it for you the value is absolutely incredible tons and tons of potential for crafting with this collection it's just going to take it to new dimensions stay tuned um, before we tell you all about our new collection, let me introduce you to my wonderful team that I've got joining with me today. In the producer station, we've got Gemma. Good morning. Good morning. And let's give a huge, huge welcome back to our fabulous demonstrator today. It's the one and only Kat Holly. Hello. Good morning. Hi. You okay? I am. Good. Yeah, I'm getting Good. there. <laughs> fabulous. This is great news. This is great news. Um, okay. Today's collection is called Amongst the Flowers. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it's stunning. So nice. So fun. I love just combining all your stash and all your goodies and, and just coming up with some really fun and individual mates with this. Yes, it. yeah. Definitely. Um, so it is Amongst the Flowers, decoupage toppers. So we're gonna be showing you all of those. Um, but let's have a little look first of all. Let's get our Win It Weekly done. <laughs> So our fabulous Win It Weekly prize this week is our Miri Mega Mix. 50 sheets of fantastic colourways in here. Our shiny, beautiful, fantastic Miri to suit any project whatsoever. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at all the colours in there. 50 sheets. 
it is so beautiful and it's worth 19.99 and we're giving away six again wow what could be better than that six yeah we gave away six prizes last week and we're giving away six prizes this week amazing amazing and all we want to know it's really easy this week as well cat we want to know like share and comment which birds return to the uk in spring is it a swallow is it b great spotted woodpecker or c pigeon definitely pigeon oh i've seen loads of them so it must be pigeon. <laughs> pigeons for sure um be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons guys <laughs> um <laughs> let us know your answers um we are going to be giving that away on friday there's loads of answers coming in you guys are so clever at home okay so we're gonna go straight in aren't we Gemma? um we are gonna have a little look at a vt yeah weren't they beautiful so hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of what we've got on our show this is a decoupage topper collection it is absolutely stunning and i think look at that pack shot isn't that wonderful 32 foiled and die cut decoupage topper sheets eight different designs you're going to be able to create 64 fully decoupage toppers and have 64 sentiments to match isn't that wonderful it's amazing. That, I didn't realise you got four of each. That is just isn't it? wow. But that wow, price, wow, wow. yeah, twenty four ninety nine just for signing in. You're going to take just over a pound off at twenty three seventy four, and then just for signing in, if you are our diamond member, you're going to take even more off, and you're going to be paying twenty two forty nine. I mean, it, it really is stunning. It's very very similar to our decolage, except there's no like base layers and matching cardstock. So instead of doing that, instead of putting those elements in, what we've done is given you more toppers, which is more value. It's a great way to use up your scraps, any bits of old kits that you've got lying around. Yes. Just honestly, absolutely delightful. You can be putting them in apertures, on top of easels, on top of boxes. The choice really is yours. I think with this kit not having um, a more traditional decollage feel, I feel like it gives you greater flexibility. It does, yeah. It, it really, really helps you like stretch your imagination for the things you can do with it. Yeah, definitely. Um, so let's not waste any more time. Let's talk you through these beautiful, fully foiled and die cut decoupage toppers. Just a little word about the slip. How snazzy is this? There's a QR I code. I love that. Um, so rather than a full inspiration sheet, um, again, with it being a bit of a something different, we thought we'd try putting a QR code and then that takes you straight to all that wonderful inspiration. Yes. Absolutely gorgeous. You've still got card models on there though um, for that, but absolutely, it's kind of like a digital inspiration sheet, if you will. And then here we go, absolutely beautiful. So obviously this kit is called Amongst the Flowers, so you will see that as a recurring theme. But however, just because it is a floral collection, there's lots of different you know, elements to this kit and ideas and themes, just with that little floral twist. So for this one example, we've got the butterfly here, absolutely stunning. So you can see this is your largest layer, and then you're gonna be decoupaging those up. They're all foiled and die cut, ready to just pop out and press straight onto your cards. And then you get the matching sentiment. I mean, just look how chunky that is. Spread your wings and fly. It's a whole label tag there. And then this one at the bottom, so there's two per sheet. And this one on the bottom is this wonderful sort of spray of flowers, absolutely stunning. You've got peonies in there, roses little bits of foliage hope your day blossoms with happiness on your sentiment i mean just look at how much you're getting this is insane guys absolutely stunning so you're going to be getting four sheets of each so great 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 kit for batch making um, and then the next one that we turn to i mean just look at these absolute sweeties our garden visitors um, so you've got the gorgeous little birdhouse there, perfect for a happy new home card, a couple's card, anything like that, with the blue tit and your label from me to you. And then look at this little fella at the bottom, perfect for um, Easter or last minute makes, perhaps your box making. You know, you're gonna get four of these. So if you're yeah. doing, 
you know, Easter boxes for the grandkids or egg hunts, these are gonna be so, so perfect. Obviously, um, with some of the, the, the bigger layers, for example, maybe this one and this one, you could be a bit more frugal and then maybe split those in half. I think this one's definitely big enough to work on its own. Yes, yeah. If you want to, um, but they do look stunning when they're all built up. Absolutely gorgeous. So much dimension and depth on here. Um, the next one, a little bit more feminine, a little bit more girly with this one. It is our delightful Sweet and My Tea. You've got that teapot there with the roses and then that beautiful stack of china cups there, all stacked up on top with florals absolutely bursting throughout this, foiled in gold for a really nice, rich, luxurious look there. And I mean, again, if you wanted to be a little bit more extravagant because you do get four sheets of each, you could be working these two together. I think they harmonize perfectly. Yeah, they do, don't they? They really, really yeah. do. You know, you get the teapot and then the little stack of china cups, they're gonna look so, so great together. Um, again, the sentiment on there, so cute. You sweetened my tea and made with love. Absolutely beautiful. And you know me, I'm a sucker for a pink rose. Um, then we have our lovely petals and papers. Um, what more could we, you know, could, what more could a crafter want? Petals and paper, absolutely beautiful. Love these as well. You get like the little um, banner tag here and the postage stamp one as well. Again, same theme throughout. You just pop them out, build them up and go. Absolutely gorgeous. So you've got the wonderful love letter there and the book, perfect for like those retirements, those rest and relax, maybe just a little thinking of you or some paper hugs. Absolutely stunning. No, no end to the possibilities that you can have with this collection. And this one is just screaming birthdays, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Pink, it's fun, it's vibrant. You get the wonderful big sponge cake there with the pink parcel and then who doesn't like a little cheeky cocktail um if you watch friday's show last week you will know me and amory love a cocktail um as that was our spin the wheel question last week and again more tags wishing you a sweet day and best wishes so those could totally be working again combine those up i think those harmonize absolutely perfectly um and honestly i've got a little bit of a soft spot for this one it's so pink and girly and cute <laughs> Um, we move on to our wheelie great day. Um, very, very appropriate because we've got the wheelbarrow and the bike there as well. Absolutely stunning, full of blooms. Um, wishing you a wheelie great day and especially for you. Honestly, I cannot wait to see Kat build these up because they really do come to life once they've got that little bit of height and dimension on there. And then the other one that we have is our puppies and kittens on here aren't they sweet i mean look at their little faces come on if these are not melting your heart oh my <laughs> gosh i mean i'm not a, like a cat will know this she'll probably laugh i'm not really a pet you know person but these oh my goodness <laughs> I was just like, oh, 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 the whole time I was working on them because look at their sweet little faces. They just, honestly, I want to take them home right now. They're so, so gorgeous. Um, so something for the cat lovers and the dog lovers. Gemma, I feel like there's one more in here. I'm just going to have a really quick flick because we're missing the fairies one. Oh, yeah. The fairies, yeah. Um, I'm sure we'll be able to. Let's have a look. We've definitely, because I've got two of the garden visitors, but none of the fairy ones. Um, but if we head over to Kat, yes. I can have a little look and I can you show can. you that at the end. Yeah. Okay, dokie. So we are going to start with those beautiful teacups. That's where I'm going to go first. And I'm pairing them with, I've got some craft cards and I've delved into our duo design pads. I think this is the Delightfully Distressed or something like that it's called. Yeah. Um, because I think the colours, as you can see on here, just work absolutely beautifully together. Yeah, oh, so they do. So I've taken a piece of craft card, an A4 piece, and I'm going to do a circular easel card for this one. Ooh, so I've got little, my largest uh, Love a little circular easel card And I've just popped that over the top of the score line Just so we're going to create that kind of circle base I'm Pulling the die cut machine I'll Take that through Oh, 
Oh, Viv's put welcome home, Pat. Oh. Isn't that cute? It is. I was back in the office on Friday, but just still finding my... Um, oh, I think I'm missing a layer. It's not cut. Let's try this. Try again. It felt like it went through a little bit too, bit too, too easy. easy. There we go. So we'll run this through. There's a bit of die cutting with this one to build up our layers, but I have done bits in advance. So. Yeah, this is absolutely fine. This is where you can be really exploring the full potential of this kit, it is using it in those funky folds, your easels, getting your dies out. Obviously, they look great just popped straight onto a, you know, a square or a rectangular card, but you can be really experimental with these. You can. So that is going to be the base for my easel. And then I've just gone in and I've die cut the circle just once, just one layer, mm. one more time. So I can do that front bit. I'm now going to take my duo design pads and I should be able to cut both of these at the same time because they're so thin yeah and this time I have gone with the um this I've just got the circle yeah so I'm gonna put these down like I said I should be able to cut two sheets at once because I want the two different sides of this paper just to give it that difference from the top and the bottom and then while that's running through I'm going to take a scalloped die that's just slightly bigger than the circle that I'm using for these. Yep. And we are going to do that so it'll work as like a little bit of a mat and layer. So I've got those two there. And then I'm going to cut this out of the gold. And you want to do two of these, but I've, I've got one already done just awesome. for time. <coughs> And then we can get layering this all up. So we're going to have one like that and then one on our other one. And I think that curved edge just gives that feel of the cups and stuff that's going just, on. It yeah, adds, it, it's, adds it's, that um, femininity. Feminine. Definitely. Feminine. It's nice and delicate, yeah. isn't it? And it almost looks a little bit like, I love using dyes like that with teacups and china patterns and things because it's like a little doily, isn't it? It is. Yeah, I think that's where it, it kind of came from, the inspiration. Yeah, I think so. So let's get these onto here. Oh, which paper pad are you using, Kat? I think it's it's something like, you know, I'm rubbish with names. I think it's Delightfully Distressed oh, or yeah, something yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. that. Yep, Delightfully Distressed and Colourful Craft. Yeah, that's the one. Um, so hopefully that helps um, Heather this morning. Um, we are going to be running through some really nice accompaniments as well. Um, some of our pattern packs and duotone paper pads and things. So um, if there is one that takes you fancy, they do go so well with these. Um, decoupage toppers they look so great it just really picks up with the colors on it yeah, just it go does. through don't be necessarily put off by the names in your room um, in your of the duo design pads because you might think delightfully distressed that's not going to go with these beautiful um floral toppers but just go and have a look and i bet they will yeah you know you can be really surprised can't you i mean i can already see that sort of like plasterboard pink colour coming yeah. through it's so nice so we're just going to add this one to the top here so I've just got that front bit in half just folded that down and then I think we'll put this one on the bottom Again, just using the construction glue, not going too close to the edges so it doesn't squidge out. 
Now, to get this central, what you're going to do is we're just going to get it central, but what a bit of your scallop might just pop over the top. So we can do that and then just trim away. Oh, yeah, a bit of overhang. The little tiny little bit of overhang. Because I'd rather do that than not have it central. Ooh. What's going on here? Oh, you'll love this comment as well, Kat. Jackie Bradley said, we've got CCC, Kat's Crafty Card. Oh. Yes, we do, Jackie. Um, it, it is so good to be uh, watching Kat demo these. Um, so they're just so much fun, aren't they? They're so cute and there's so much you can do with them. So we'll pop that one on the top there. And while that all dries down, yep. let's get to building up our little bit of decoupage. Yes. So I have gone on, some of these have already popped out, but I have gone and put my foam pads on the back. That's such a great idea. Just to make life a little bit easier for myself, which is something you can do it yourself at home. Oh, definitely. Is if you get them foam padded up or popped out and popped into little bags, and then it just makes it even easier when you come round to making the cards. Absolutely, 100%. Susan Freeman says, love the duo design pads, use them all the time. Um, Viv Williams has got to make a shed load of Easter cards today. Oh, we'll have fun. Um, don't forget to send us them in. Um, some pickies. Uh, Heather Porter says, love these decoupage sheets. I'm going to be naughty again and do another order when my dad gets in from work. I don't blame you. <laughs> I do not blame you. They're gorgeous. You're going to love them. And Linda says she wish she had your crafty brain. Oh, I wish I had my crafty brain at the <laughs> moment. I don't feel like I do so much. Well, luckily with these, they, they do all the hard work for you, they don't they? They do, they're fabulous. And you can just see how quick and easy they are building up. And they're such a nice size as well. Yeah, they you are, can, aren't can, they? They're definitely not too fiddly um, or like cumbersome. They are really nice, nice big chunky pieces of decoupage. Obviously, when, once you get to some of the smaller ones, um, you are going to have to go into your little um, your little foam pads and things. But you can just like use your pokey tool or your tweezers, um, absolutely anything. And they do really give off that really luxurious layered look to these. Absolutely stunning. And obviously, you can stop if you just want a couple of layers on there. That's it. And ones like this as well, you could definitely split down into two, like you were saying before with that bunny. Yeah. You could definitely split down into two different separate ones. Oh, definitely. I mean, just going through the kit, there's so many that you can be splitting down. And I mean, to think, I can't even believe we're talking about splitting down when you can make 64 from full. But I know. If you want to be it's even, mad, isn't it? That's it. If you want to be even more free, frugal, you absolutely can be. Um, this is coming together so nicely. So I'm going to take a bit of my scrap gold again and we're going to run this through with that big circle and then we're just going to get this so we get those nice neat edges on our, when I do my um, band for my little stepper across. So we'll do it with this and then we'll do it with the craft. Gorgeous. So run that through one more time. And what did I do with my craft card? Did I put it in the bin? Was I being super tidy? Craft That's card. Odd. What did I do with it? It can't be so far. It's okay, I'll tell you what I'll use. I'll use a bit of the thingy instead going to use a piece of this if it's big enough I'm not sure it is I've cut in a really bad place but I'll cheat it's okay so let me cut a strip from here and I'm taking this from the middle just so I can get a nice and this is I'm doing it this way just so I can get that nice curved edge so I know it's going to fit really neatly across across here Beautiful. and then I would do the oh, same with this one but because I've lost 
what I was going to use to mark the width. I've only got a gold pen, I'm not sure that's going to show up that well. So I'm just going to mark where I'd really want my matte layer to sit. Pop that in there. And then I can use the curve of this. So I've already got a nice curved line just to cut this down. Yep. So I've got that as a guide. Oh yeah, this is actually really helpful because sometimes like on circular easel cards like that, it, it can be a bit tricky to do the border, so it's good the... to see it being demoed. My double-sided tape is stuck to itself. Wonderful. But we're just about getting there. So I can fit two lines of this on and it'll still leave me that nice border. So just take this off. And we're going to keep it like the craft side up because that'll give the contrast against the other side. Just going to place that down. And then we know exactly where to cut this with the curve. Beautiful. And then we're going to use foam pads. Oh, so is this going to act as like a little stopper? Yeah, this is my like stopper across, stopper, stepper, whatever you wish to call it. Beautiful. So you just line these up to the two sides where you know it's going to fit. And then that will work as our stepper. We've also got, I'm sure I pulled out of my bag, but I've lost it again. I have pulled out an extra sentiment from my um, little sentiment book, but. Oh, we've got the sentiment books in um, over there if you want one card. Should we have a look? It was just to add a bit of just detail to the top, but I think we're nearly there. Let's have a little look. If I can find it, it was a nice cream one. I think that, is that this year's one? I'm not sure if that's last year's. There we go. Finding the one you want when you're on a... Oh, I know, isn't it a pain? It was a creamy one. Here we go, we'll go for someone special. Oh, beautiful. Oh no, do you know what? I think it might be my next demo, now I'm thinking of it, so instead. <laughs> Take the page out, yeah. pop it to one side. Just in case I've not got it. We'll go in Made With Love instead, and we'll just pop that up the top just to add a little bit more interest up here. Oh, that says Made With Love. Do you know, my brain's gone. My brain is absolutely still not at itself, so please excuse me. Uh, we are absolutely bearing with Kat. This is a, so, still a beautiful there demo. We go. Abs I mean, just look at that. Let's have a look it at that. It just gives you that beautiful that. dimension. Wow. And I think easel cards are absolutely great for this because yep. they let you do it without it protruding too much off the front of the card. I think the so. card. Yeah, absolutely. Do try and make that if you've got those at home. I found the fairy topper. Yay. Um, Gemma and the girls very kindly got one. I can't believe we missed her out. I mean, just look at her. Isn't she so pretty? She's got her fairy wings. She's got a little braid. And then you get at the top the fairy cottage to match. Again, how well is this one going to work in harmony together, mixing and matching? You've got the fairy cottage and the fairy um, little girl there. Isn't she adorable? Um, just again, just look at those little accents on her wings. Beautiful. Love and fairy wishes and have a magical day. So you are going to be getting those as well as all of those other ones. So could not not show you that. You're going to get those as well. So 32 sheets 
and obviously you're going to get four of all of those as well so perfect for batch making are we ready to see some cards because they're so beautiful um, we have got absolutely loads this morning. Um, we have got just such a mix and match of accompaniments. And I do think this gives you a little insight whenever we do collections like this into our signature style. Yeah. What shapes everyone likes to use, what paper pads everyone to use. This one just blew me away. I mean, it might just be that those animals, again, I mean, <laughs> I, I just literally love them. Um, look at that gorgeous die cut square there with the strips of that duo design paper pad. I think the yellow and purple matching in with the blooms and the sentiment, it works so well. Kat, I absolutely love that card. Thank you. Um, we've got a beautiful stepper here made out of some Miri. Again, utilizing those duo, duo um, design paper pads with those peachy blooms absolutely beautiful and we've got this one just on a little square so you can make them into sort of base layer style toppers like into yeah. squares and pop them onto frames and rectangles and things you can do that and um, you can be making little um bookmark projects and little tags here and um, we've just used the essential paper pads to do that again look at the layers on there absolutely stunning um so i mean you're not going to lose your your page with all those layers are you <laughs> no no definitely not um absolutely gorgeous and we've got a beautiful easel here as well cat this is must be one of yours as well yeah got those absolutely signature touches of craft there with that gorgeous scallop die it works so well as an aperture it here does. absolutely beautiful again utilizing all of those goodies that we've got we've got the Another one with that cake and the pastel plaid. Again, if you have got that essential book of sentiments, if you are making large cards and you just need a little space filler, they are so, so great. Um, they make beautiful stepper cards as well. Again, we've got that tag with that butterfly there as well. So do utilize all of your dies, all of your gemstones, absolutely everything that you've got. Um, just hanging around your stash, we've got that teacup there. We've got the um, the kitties. They're so 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 sweet. Um, absolutely stunning cards. And then again, some more easel cards. Like Kat said, they work so so well um, because they just they, you know they've got so much space. This one's very very glamorous as well. Absolutely beautiful with that black and gold and that gemstone background. Absolutely stunning. And again, you can just see all those layers. I mean. That cake and that cocktail, it looks good enough to eat and drink, doesn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And then finally, we've got that kiddies one as well with those craft touches. So you can make it really vintage and really, really, really sweet. Or you can go for something like a little bit more, like a bit unusual, some really, really nice combos there. Absolutely love all of those makes from the team. So if you're like, I love some of those projects and I want to absolutely copy them, we've got some beautiful accompaniments for you. One of which being our, let's do this one first. Cause I love it. Um, it is our adorable scorable seasonal selection for spring. And I love this because of the variety. The value is incredible. It's 14 pounds 99. You're getting 14 sheets, 16 designs and three of each. And again, just absolutely look at some of those prices that you're seeing on your screen for that. Absolutely amazing. And it just covers everything. I mean, you've got this one with the lacy hearts that would have gone really well with those teacups as well. Absolutely beautiful. And then you then you go from that to like lush tropical spring leaves. I know. And I just love that you get that much variety in here. You've got photographic, like realistic florals and butterflies. You've got honeycomb and buzzy bees, raindrops on a sort of crafty background. Um, it is all adorable scoreable, so it is 350 GSM. It's a satin finish, which is lovely. Um, again, something for the masculine um, sort of toppers on here. Um, a, the French wood grain with, again, those beautiful bright pink blooms. Could see that working so well with loads of the other toppers. The cocktail, the cake, the teacups, absolutely anything. Um, really cute little fresh as a daisy pattern there with that rich navy, stripes, clouds, you name it, you have got it in this pack. Photographic blooms, I mean, we saw that on, uh, on this card, this stepper card. Just working so, so well with those toppers. The colour palette in that one is stunning. 
perfect for spring and summer crafting. It has been selected to go with all of your spring occasions and I think the design team have done an incredible job of putting this together. Again, that glamorous pink marble one going with quite a few of those as well. And then we have got some of our fabulous pattern packs in. So let's run you through some of those. Gemma, I think you've picked some cracking ones here. These are any three for $21.96. And I mean, again, we've picked ones that are just perfect for this time of year and that are gonna go with the collection really well. Ones that you might be scanning that QR code and seeing in the gallery. We've got some of our pastel plaids. Again, just working so well with that birthday cake there, absolutely beautifully. Um, I mean, look at these colours, perfect for Easter, perfect for your April and May crafting. We've got a nice fresh sage green there as well. And I think this is one of those kits, like this is just gonna work so well uh, for a masculine or a unisex card. And then you've got some more sort of feminine colourways in there as well. Um, so perfect for like, if you've got any like shirt dyes or dresses, yes. you know, cause it's got that sort of fabric kind of quality to it. The next one we have is our rainbow skies. So I could see this working with those magical fairies, um, those that butterfly again, um, so many of your decoupage toppers. It's just delightful. It's got that sparkle encapsulated into this cardstock, dreamy sort of unicorn rainbow skies, bubbles, everything in here. It is stunning. So, so cute and fun. Perfect for kids cards as well. Oh, my rainbow's upside down on here. Look at that. I mean, these would be so great for like bedroom decor for like kids they and would, girls in here. Absolutely stunning. You could just put those in some frames. And then we also have our luxurious leopard print. Um, some of you may have got some of these pattern packs in your goodie boxes. So if you did get our goodie box, um, you have that 10% off code that you can be using on your decoupage toppers. And then that's a great way to get all those goodie box items used, yes, isn't it? Yeah. You, you know, you're going to be getting into that goodie box, getting your papers out and your pattern packs, whatever you've got in there, your gemstones, and utilising those decoupage toppers up to the max. Again, absolutely stunning colourways in there. Love this one. That little bit of a rose gold finish there as well. Um, shall we run through the paper pads as well before we go back to Kat? Yeah, let's have a little run through because Kat did use some of these in her demo um, and we have put the link on for you in the comments um, but we've got a variety of our um, paper pads here now these will keep your cards really nice and light especially if you are using a lot of layers we've got our duo tone paper pads here now these are great £9.99 and you've got those ombre colour palettes already done for you these are a matte finish so you can add your inks or anything to them absolutely beautiful if you want to do a bit of stamping these are great. And again, just some of the colorways in here are so, so good. Absolutely stunning. Cut them into strips and layer them up to create an ombre. Absolutely beautiful. No inks required, but you can do if you want to. You get that gorgeous licorice and terracotta with those sort of brick tones and those neutrals. And then if you do want a shiny finish because our decoupage toppers are in that sort of satin finish, we have our duo color paper pads. Again, another match made in heaven. Um, so you get that gorgeous sort of satin shine. You can just see that on the lights there, just bouncing around. And again, absolutely stunning color palettes. And these have a more mixture of colors rather than mixture of tones. So you're gonna see some more sort of varieties in there. You're gonna see those really pale ones and then going into those rich sort of steely Ooh, blues. that is beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? This one's almost like a purple. Um, with a with a sort of dove grey, uh, almost kind of like brown. Absolutely beautiful colourways in here. So much flexibility in these. So we have that. We have our pinks and purples. We have our reds and oranges. Oh, again, <laughs> some tangerines, some nice red red wine, some coral and peaches. Absolutely beautiful. So so versatile. Again, you might have got these in your goodie boxes. And then we've got our yellows and greens. Again, those rich hollies and mustards. Going into your more sort of softer kind of sages and yellows, grass greens, everything like that, those shamrock colors, into like a sort of spearmint as well. Absolutely beautiful. And then finally, we've brought some of our duo design paper pads as well. Any three for two on your Hunky Dory Essentials. Three for two absolutely amazing so we've got our spring fling and gorgeous gingham this is very very popular i'm not surprised why because of the time of year 
but just look at how stunning this is. Let's go from the back. Oh, <laughs> or not. I think this might be an old one that we've had in here for a bit. The binding's a little bit fragile, but you get bunnies in here, daffodils, tulips, all accented with that beautiful color palette of gingham. Again, you could be doing some ombre or some rainbow backgrounds, pansies, violas, really nice sort of like wallpaper s patterns in here. Um, again, these are just going to go absolutely delightfully. You can see so many. I mean, especially, like I say, I think this is my favorite card of the show. You can just see all those ginghams working in perfect harmony together. Um, duckies, they're so, so cute. They're so cute. And again, all of those beautiful patterns. You've got hummingbirds in here, cherry blossoms, birds, nature touches. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, you're getting that wonderful satin shine on there, those ferns with those sort of like yellow honeysuckle flowers there as well. And again, fussy cutting opportunities, absolutely amazing. Um, we've got this one. This one has been used a lot with some of our cards as well. Again, let me just bring that stepper in. This is your rainbow honeycomb and candy floss clouds. Really quick flick, really nice pad there. All those colour tones matching perfectly. You get those honeycomb hexagons there in all the colourways. And then those beautiful sort of soft sponge clouds in the reverse of your pad there and then finally oh my favorite of all time it is our glitter tastic and pastel ombre so you're getting that kind of crushed sugar glitter there and then on the other side really something a bit more subtle those beautiful again kind of spongy pastel tones in there and a rainbow of colorways here this would be going so nicely with your fairies again there's quite a lot of glitter detail on that cocktail and that cake there um, and so many different colorways you need this in your life it is an amazing pad um absolutely beautiful so so pretty iridescent so sparkly um, but with none of the mess, none of the mess. <laughs> uh, what could be better than that? Um, so there are any three for two on your duo design pads and get those to go with your decoupage toppers because they do go so wonderfully. Um, but there's more on the website. Obviously we saw the one that Kat used this morning and there are many more. So do um, have, a, have a little look at hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. Um, okay, Kat, we're coming back to you. Yes. Guess which one we're using? Um, she's not peeking, she's peeking. I, I am, I'm she, cheating, she's cheating, I'm cheating. She's cheating. I can see a little bit of dark green and a little bit of cream. I'm really glad you found her because we're using the fairy. <gasps> yes. Yay. And at this time, I'm I've am i gone back to my duo design pads. Oh, Bex, you'll know the name um, of this one. Blossoming right? Blooms and Lovely Lace. Lace. Absolutely stunning. So again, you can just see how well these colours work together. Absolutely stunning. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of a, what's it called? An acetated fronted easel. But I'm keeping it quite small. I usually do a six by six for these. Okay. Um, but I'm going to five by five because these are a little bit smaller and I didn't want it to get lost. Yeah. So you start with a five by five card just as you normally would. And then I'm going to cut two... Um, mats of gold mirror to five by five. One I've already done, so I'm just doing one of five by five, and then I'm going to do another two, one which I've already done, a four yeah. by four. Just so we're going to layer up those backgrounds just to add a little bit more interest. So you're going to end up with two five by fives and two four by fours, and then we are going to do the corresponding. Mat, uh, layers for them so from the cream three notches under the five in both directions and then for the green this beautiful beautiful three notches under the oh no it's not i think it might be is it four i've done it is four you know when you start dating yourself oh don't i know it's terrible isn't it that looks cute and we are just going to layer these up. If I can find the end of my tape. Um, Pauline Foster says, is there a tutorial for stepper cards, please? I think there is. If you have a look on the Hunky Dory Hub, we've got the uh, Swan Lake one at the moment on there. Um, that is definitely one that we've done very recently. Um, obviously go back to all your magazines and things and have a look at some of our old videos 
Um, I know I did one on Friday with the um, goodie boxes, um, but there definitely is a Swan Lake one on the hub, so do check that out. I did one on um, Hobby Maker on Sunday as well. I think you can oh, catch up you? on that as well. With, yeah. the, with this kit? No, it was with the, um, especially for you. Oh, that's a beautiful kit, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, Shelley's also said they are in the handbooks as well. Um, yeah, that is super, super helpful. Really good tip if you have got those or you want to get those. Um, they've got loads of funky folds in it, including um, probably this easel that Kat's going to make now. Steppers, fold backs, all sorts in there. So do have a look at those if you have those. So we're just layering these up. And in the end, you should end up with two like this and two like that. So the next thing I'm going to do before we start sticking any of them down is cut my acetate to size. So we know this is five inches by five inches. So it was in the portrait position going up. We're going to cut this to five inches in length that way. And then we know we need five inches to come down the front and then we're going to add an extra inch just so we've got that um one inch like little panel that we yeah. can use to adhere it to the back so then just bring the cut line back up to the one inch mark and then you can just use your guide in here to score that line in instead of switching over to your uh, scoreboard just for one score line little time saving hat And then we'll go in with some double-sided tape. Because this is sandwiched between other layers and mats and layers, I'm just use, using the normal double-sided tape because we know it's going to stay. Yeah. Usually we recommend the high-tack tape, but if, if it's the only layer on, I would say go with your high-tack. But like I said, this is going to be squished between even more layers, so you're absolutely fine using this. So then just lay your card out flat. We're going to line this up against the top of the card. If anything, bring it just a tiny little bit over the top, just so you know it's going to open and close really, really nicely. And then we can start going in and building up our backgrounds. Absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love this one. I'm so happy you're doing the fairy one. I mean, she tried to fly away. She did. But we're not going to let her. Absolutely not. You are going to be getting that in this kit. <laughs> Do not worry. She was having a uh, a camera shy moment. I think that so. is all. So just pop that on. And make sure you do need to leave that little gap so it stands up. So you've still got that in your score line there. Yeah, absolutely. And then just build these up. We'll pop one on the bottom. And I just love how beautifully these colours work together. Don't they just? And because the lace is the same throughout, it just goes so perfectly. And get them there so I have started to build this fairy up but what you'll see that I've done here is I've kept the back bit separate from the front and the other little bits that stick on separate because I'm going to use her here as oh to hide your yeah I'm going to start with her on the <coughs> back um, and then build the rest onto the front and it gives you that kind of see-through element but at the same time it helps you hide all your workings I which is really so. a good way Such to do it idea. so it looks like I'm being very disrespectful to her by sticking this foam pad over her face but I promise you I am not it's just this is how we're gonna adhere it to the back so if I pop this down kind of where I want it to sit oh like, just in the center yeah. yeah and then if you build up the rest on top Now, I 
have put a little bit too much down the front there where her legs are, but you don't do that. <laughs> you can't really tell, to be no, honest. to be fair. Then we'll just add on these other bits that go on the front here. I think this, especially when you've got other elements that go on as well separately from the main image, I think this gives you a really, really fun effect. Oh, definitely. So you can just see how she's like peeking, peeking through. And then again, we just need to make ourselves a little step. So I'm just going to bring this to the length of my smaller square. So we're going to go four inches by, we'll do a inch and a quarter. And we'll go back to the cream to add the contrast. Three notches under that way. I'm just going to check that fits before I <laughs> stick it down. And you've got all these other little bits left now, especially to your duo to tone pads that are going to still work beautifully with lots of your other kit, uh, designs in there. So make sure you're not throwing them away. Oh yeah, Even definitely. if it's just for like building up like your strip backgrounds and things like that. Yeah, 100%. You can definitely um, do that. Use There's so many different ways you can use scraps to be building up your backgrounds, to be doing your die cutting from. Um, just pop them in one of our little storage boxes. You'd be surprised how often they come in handy. So we'll pop this across here. I'm just coming a little bit under halfway. We are going to take our matching sentiment. And this is the one I'd popped it out for before. I got absolutely confused with my extra sentiment earlier. So love and fairy wishes. And for this one, I've just gone for someone special. I'll pop this up. I think we might actually, no, we will put it on the front, just over this top corner here. And I'm gonna have a quick whiz round and see if there is any gold gemstones knocking about. Oh no, can't see any, anyway. She looks beautiful. She looks beautiful as she is. Oh, what a wonderful card cat. I absolutely I, love an acetate easel. And the way you've hidden those workings is so clever. So, so clever. Yeah, so you can see here that there's no mess on the, there's a little bit on the back of that one there, but, but you on could, the, this. Absolutely, and you could get another one of those little button um, sentiments to pop behind that, or a little yeah. die cut circle. Or like you say, you can pop that on the inside. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no mess. You That is how easily you can do that with your decoupage cards. I mean, I've got this other one as well. This one's from UCAT as well. So this is just a full on oh, acetate yeah. card base. And what you can see is Kat has used the same technique. So let's just flip that over. There's no working. I know, it's so clever, isn't Oh it? my gosh, there is no working. So get your acetate out. Be making that card that Kat did, and maybe one like this. And you can just pop your first largest layer on the inside to hide all those workings. And you can't even tell. You still get that wonderful, like, stunning kind of floating technique there. Um, so we're going to have a quick recap of the kit. But before we do, let's... Um, give you the win it weekly question again. So that is for this beautiful Miri Mega Mix. And we want to know which birds return to the UK in spring. Is it A, swallows, B, great spotted woodpecker, or C, pigeon? Do you have given a clue away during the show. Sorry. You have given a clue away during the show, you know. Do you think? You, sh you actually showed the answer before. But I'm not saying any more. No. <laughs> I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a thinking now. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna Don't do this to me, Carl. <laughs> this is ace. Um honestly. What are we like? We have such fun in here. Um you guys know the answer anyway. I know you do, you're clever people. And um, let's have a very quick recap if you did miss the show and you're just joining us. So um, are amongst the flowers a decoupage topper. What a beast this is. It is a whopper. 
of a kit. Four of each design. You are going to be getting all the elements to build up two complete decoupage shaped toppers from one sheet. You're gonna be able to make 64 in total. So you've got that gorgeous fairy and the cottage that Kat has just used on her demonstration, that fairy wishes one, with the matching sentiment, love and fairy wishes there. Um, so honestly, do get that card made at home. It's so inspiring. Um, we've got the birthday cake with the cocktail here. Um, something a bit more fun, a bit more girly. Perfect like for like a grown up card. Um, maybe those kind of like sweet 16ths, 18ths that can be a bit tricksy to do, can't they? Yes. You know, you don't want anything too young, but you don't want anything too old and traditional. This is absolutely bang up to date. That cake and that cocktail, so, so on trend. Uh, we've got the petals and paper one here with those love letters, that reading book, absolutely stunning. Bookmark toppers, postage stamps. It's got that really nice kind of vintage rustic vibe going on there with that one. You sweeten my tea that we saw Kat use in her first demonstration on her circular easel card today. Um, and again, you've got the matching teapot and pink roses on there. Um, you've got the wonderful garden friends here with that birdhouse and that bunny absolutely perfect for easter um, you know if you're getting this in your basket that should be coming in time there's not that long now um, or if you're getting a next day delivery these will genuinely if you're getting these tomorrow i mean they take minutes to build up don't they yeah absolutely minutes if not seconds the next one we've got our butterfly blossoms with that gorgeous arrangement of flowers there and that beautiful amber colored butterfly absolutely stunning like i say you're going to get four sheets of each of these I mean, just look at how many you're going to be getting. It's stunning. So much value. Uh, then we've got the wheelie great day with the bicycle and the wheelbarrow, just ready for a nice spring stroll down the lane. Absolutely stunning, stunning spring vibes here with all of those blossoms and blooms. The design team have done such a wonderful job with these. And then finally, oh my gosh, it is our puppies and kittens a special friend with this one i mean just look at their sweet little faces come on um absolutely gorgeously cute 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 um the whole collection there's just something for everyone there's a bit of cute a bit of contemporary a bit of traditional we really have tried to cater to everyone and the wonderful wonderful slip that you get in here with that qr code do scan that in and have a look at the gallery with all that inspiration um, you just need to treat yourself to it because it is absolutely wonderful. Um, I am afraid I am out of everything to show. So, Kat, are you ready for the I am final? ready for the final. Yes, I am. And I'm going to my comfort zone today and doing lots of scoring. So wonderful. This is going to be a six inch by six inch card, but I wanted to show off and encapsulate the decoupage element. So it's. It's kind of like a box lid, but it's going to be stuck onto the front of the card just to Ooh, give it that bit of, dimension. bit of dimension. So I'm starting, I've just got the shade from our uh, adorable scorable pattern packs and I'm working it with that beautiful bicycle so you'll be able to see how the colours work perfectly together. So for this, I'm going to cut it under. I want it to work like a normal matte and layer on the front of my card. So... I want it to have a finished side of like that three knot size of that three notches under the six okay. by six, but I've still got to add on what I need for my sides. Yeah. So I'm gonna take this to eight inches and then bring it the three notches under on both sides and then hopefully it should have the same effect oh, and not excited. affect when I actually put my uh, score lines in. Oh, this is exciting. Something a bit different. So, what we're going to need to do, because we need, obviously, we need it to make, like, that box dimension, but then we also need an extra flap so we can adhere it to the bottom of our card. Okay. So, it's an inch each way, but we're going to score it an in, half an inch and an inch so we get those oh, two. Oh, you have two? Yeah. So half an inch and an inch. Yep. Half an inch and an inch. Sorry, I've just got a question from, um, I think it might have been, I can't see who it was, but it was, oh, it was from Dawn. What acetate did you use? Is it heavyweight? I think that e might have been on your previous. It will have been, won't yeah, yeah, Heavyweight yeah. acetate for any of your easels or, or construction -y jobs. It's just going to hold a bit stronger. 
So that's the basis for that all the way around. But because I'm not using any pattern papers or anything in this, what I want to do is add some details with score lines. Yeah. So in between these two here, I'm going to go along and we are going to score at every kind of, I can't remember which one I've done. I think I have done every, every little one. What, like a little knot? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just to add some detail all the way down and just carry on going until you get to the other side there before i go any further i have got this all completely done but i'm just going to show you how you cut out these edges so you yep. still get them to work so what you want to do is on your score lines here on the one that meets the point of your square cut up all the way and then we're going to cut this rectangle out this little square out at the side here so it should just leave you with this the okay. full thingy and then if you want to you can put a little snip in oh like a little wedge little wedge in there so this is how your box is going to fold together and then you've got these ones to fold under for the other i'll just do it one more time mm. just in case so cut all the way up the long one to the point cut your bottom rectangle away your outer square away and then if you want to you can cut a little notch in there so you just do that all the way around yep. for all four sides and when you're all done you should end up with something that looks like this Ooh, now you can pretty. see i have gone on and i've added my tape and i've put my square nesting aperture die in the middle because this is where we're going to pop our element afterwards wonderful so this let's is get gonna this be cut eight. Out. So I did my scoring um, first, so it might flatten out a little bit as it goes through the die cutting machine. So yeah. you can always do it after if you want. I just find it easy while scoring it while it's a solid oh. unit. Yeah. You can always go back and rescore if it's flattened it a bit too much for you. Yeah. Which is easier to do when you've already got the score lines yeah, there. Yeah, because they're already in. Yeah. But as you can see, it hasn't impacted on this. No, absolutely not. At all. Oh, that looks ace. So I'm going to start by taking all my tape off. If only you could prep taking your high tack tape off. Unfortunately, oh, it's not one of those tell things. Tell me we about did. it. <laughs> Honestly, I had about three or four pieces obviously completely stuck to my hand with static and I went to shake my hand off over the bin and I gave it a really good shake and absolutely zero would come off. <laughs> it was still all there. I was like, oh good. That was a job just not worth doing. No, no. Yeah, it's in the same here. <laughs> But it is a marvellous product. Oh, it, it really is. It is one of my favourite. I, I don't think there's one of our adhesives that I don't like. I like them all in it for all of their qualities. They've all got a different job and a different part to play. That's it, isn't it? And and you know, in, in this regard, it's that nice instant grab and that stronghold that you really do need for your boxes. It's just gonna make it I don't know, just so much more stronger and sturdy. Yeah. So start by just sticking those tabs in. And I've not cut um, notches into my other panels because I want to use them to kind of help it hold its shape. Okay, cool. When I bring it round, I'll show you in a show you in a moment. So when we've got all those in, like you said, so here and here, I can just pinch it down just so it really helps hold itself. So 
as you can see this is just kind of going to give us that box effect that's going to sit on the front of our card so i have gone ahead and i've matte and layered my six inch card up with some gold mirror and then i'm going to cut myself a piece of the blue this is just another piece of adorable scoreable yeah just down so it's big enough so it's going to cover your aperture but small enough that it's not going to stick outside the sides of okay. your yeah that's your clever. box and again you could put a piece of acetate in there if you wanted to maybe add some shaker elements in um, depending how big your decoupage sticks out so there's no precise here just make sure it's as even as possible and then get this this is the trickiest bit is lining this hmm. up but it's the same as any other kind of mat and layer just carefully work your way around pushing the pieces in and it just gives you this really good fun effect and then you can get underneath just work around with your fingers yeah and make sure it's all in place oh this is looking funky and then we're just going to add this in the middle you could nice. add more details in there if you wanted to but i wanted to concentrate on showing you the box frame so we're going to sit this i'm going to come a little bit over to the left hand side because i want to put my i've just seen it where have you gone uh, is this for your sentiment? Yeah. I've literally just had it. <laughs> just, just had, had it. it. It's here. Oh, it's gone go. under the bottom of my box. So we're going to put this up the top corner here. I'm just going to stick this onto this side because it's just going onto that element there. Stick that over the top. And then I'm going to finish with a little bow. little bit of construction glue so I apologize if it doesn't stick in time and it falls off but we'll just add that there and there you go my bow's gonna go I know it's gonna oh, go oh it's behaving so far though that is absolutely beautiful what a really fun and different way to use those and make a kind of different style of card front thank you so much Kat. you're welcome they've been so inspirational those demonstrations today um let's have one more like last little look at the pack shot there it is sorry i'm i'm testing you gemma look at all that that you could be getting home it is absolutely stunning absolutely beautiful um so do have a look at our website for that if you want to get that in your baskets and get that home and maybe make some of these cards that Kat's shown us today okay it is time to say goodbye and um, we have absolutely loved having your company and bringing you this wonderful live launch and um, the tv schedule and marie is down at hobby maker tomorrow she's there at 2 p.m with a brand new playful collection that you can use all year round no matter what occasion Ooh. i wonder what that could be if you gnome you gnome <laughs> um at 4 p.m and I that, was, that was my own joke though I'm quite proud of that at four six and seven she will be showing off some fabulous deluxe craft pad offers back in stocks some really really wonderful multi buys on them she'll be taking a look at this kit as well and then revisiting our newest luxury card craft collection so a bumper day of crafting tomorrow with Anne Marie at Hobby Maker do not miss it a full afternoon of fun um, next up on Hunky Dory TV, um, get ready for a huge new launch. Um, I believe that one is Dan and Natalie, um, and we cannot wait to share it with you. So do not miss tomorrow's show. A full day of crafting all around, I think. Um, so thank you for joining us today, and we will see you here, same time, same place, tomorrow.